Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I am with Ian, and uh, we are going to minister today. Uh, if you would like to receive ministry, please write your name in the comments, and we will minister to you. All right. So the first person I would like to minister to is Janet. All right. Uh, so Janet, uh, what the Lord uh, is showing to me is how He comes and He gives to you breakthrough. And I see you with the clearing the word of God. You were prophesying, and then I saw a sound wave. Uh, coming out in your life and it was just overwhelming the enemy and so I felt that the Lord is giving you instruction to listen clearly to what he says and then take that word that he says and then to speak it and to declare uh, there's a scripture in the Bible where Moses had to speak to the rock uh, and then the water came out of the rock and I felt that the Lord is putting you in that same situation to say speak you know what's that uh, words in verse 3 of Genesis 1 it says there let there be light so God had to de declare something and then something happened and I just felt that the Lord says uh, you're going to speak and the Lord is going to give you breakthrough God bless you Janet Amen. ok the next word is for Rachel Rachel the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you uh, I see like a scroll that has been wind down and you are pulling a lot of that scroll but now your hands is full of the scroll and you're not really sure what to do and the Lord says rather take a small piece work through it so that it becomes functional in your life if it's not going to be functional in your life you're going to miss the whole point so you're getting a lot of revelation but if you're not going to apply it it, it it's going to lose its meaning for you and i just see how the lord says rather take a little and use it up until you have drawn all of the nutrients out of that and then go to the next part rather than wanting from all of I see a lot of sources that is connected to you that fills you up and it's so much and it's bringing a transformation but I just see the overload of information is also uh, letting a lot of the things that is actually vital going through the cracks and the Lord just wants to help you to bring back that balance be blessed hey Rachel God bless you so Sidoni uh, Sidoni I really felt that the Lord wants to bring order into your life and so God is very orderly. If you even see how He made everything is day and night, uh, the plants, the, the atmosphere, everything, even your physical body, if you go and look under a microscope, everything is in 100% order. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm blowing my breath of life into your life and I'm helping you to bring order. I see how the Lord plants His words in your heart and how you, I see very neat rows of vegetables and growth and the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit and uh, him helping you with your finances and even with relationships in your life and how the Lord take something that seems random and just bring order into it I was like God bless you okay uh, Johannes the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you okay the picture that I saw for you is a uh, interesting picture uh, a walking stick now when you think about it a walking stick is extra weight and when you go on a hiking trail you don't want any additional weight but a lot of people will tell you a walking stick to walk without it is it's a lot difficult so it's very functional and I just see if you do not have the, the revelation of what is given to you sometimes you're going to think uh, this is unnecessary but if you go through the process of getting the experience you realize this is very very important so I just see there's things in your life that is changing a bit so that you get more understanding with the revelation and that's going to come through a process of experience where sometimes you're going to make mistakes which is not a wrong thing it is still a right thing but just focus and you work with the Lord so that you can gain the experience that you need the understanding that you need uh, but also you can pray for the Spirit of God to give you understanding and just help you in this process be blessed okay. uh, Johannes uh, God bless you His hand is upon your life uh, um, I just want to give that word financial breakthrough uh, that the Lord will give to you uh, God bless you, Johannes. Oh, so, Rieta, uh, I was praying the Lord showed me a very colorful kite. Uh, but this kite was only uh, attached with a rope on one spot. And it didn't have a long tail, it had a very short tail. And this kite was going all over the place. It was actually very difficult to control that kite. And then the Lord pulled that kite down and He put a long tail on it and He put more than one rope to connect that uh, kite. And then when the Lord let the kite up, it was very controlled and he could kind of let it be a left and a right and a tail kept it nice and stable. And I felt what God was saying to me is that he is pulling you a little bit in and so it doesn't feel nice because you're not flying and you're not doing all the amazing things you want to do. 
but he's adding maturity, he's adding his glory, he's adding strategy and wisdom to your life. And now when he lets you out, now you're not going to feel that swing of your emotions, but you're going to feel that, that wisdom of the maturity of God that he is building into your life. Okay. God bless you, Rieta. Okay, the next word is for Winnie. Winnie, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a ox wagon wheel where the, the hub is broken out, the spokes is broken, you went too fast for an ox wagon. But now I see how you come into the pit stops and you get F1 wheels where you can go a lot faster. But with an old revelation, you're not going to be able to achieve what you want to achieve. So sometimes you're just realizing this is not working, this is not working, something is wrong. But you didn't know what it is that it, that it was wrong. So a pit stop for me is when you go into the Lord, even if it's with fasting or just soaking in the presence of God. And you say, Lord, here I am. Uh, upgrade me, change me, whatever you need to do, uh, I allow you to do it. And I just see how the Lord gives you instructions and with those instructions, when you apply that, it's going to change your life uh, dra drastically, especially in the way that you can move forward a lot faster. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Winnie, God bless you. So next word is for Shane Bolga. Uh, Shane Bolga, what the Lord is showing to me uh, is uh, Acts chapter 8 with Philip. And how he went and he, and he preached the gospel to the Sumeri, Sumerians and how they received it. There was many miracles and power there. And then later he again went and he spoke to the Ethiopian uh, leader. Uh, and again that person uh, got saved. And so both of those groups is a picture uh, of someone that really is valuable to the Lord. But the people to some extent rejected them. And I felt that the Lord is putting in your heart a real love for people. And so you'll go to anyone, you'll preach the gospel to them. And some of the people uh, are down and out. And some of the people are really uh, prominent leaders. And the Lord are, are going to open up a favor and doors for you. So that you can go and minister to that people. And He's putting in you a heart to do that. God bless you, Shen Boga. Okay, the next word is for Ingrid. Ingrid, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a stepladder that goes into heaven. Now, the thing is, some of the steps is missing and your, your desire is to go up quick and fast, but it's not really working. Now, you're starting to jump where the steps are missing and you're going on and on and on, but nobody can really follow you. And I just see how the Lord says, it is not about how fast you get there. It is about creating a path for your family to join you, to be connected as well. And I see now what you do is, you go to the next step, you get the revelation that you need and you build the step below you. So it's, it's going to be um, receiving a revelation and working with it, sharing it with your family so that they can go the next step. And then you're going to work with it again and again. So it's not just praying for them, but it's actually being practically involved in sharing with them revelation and word and scripture. So yeah, in the beginning it's going to feel like it's going to slow you down. But that is the whole thing. This process is not just for you. It is for you and your family. So even if you move at the pace of the slowest person, you will still do very, very good. Be blessed. Yeah, Ingrid, I feel the Lord is just breaking that hold of anxiety off of your life. Um, and so you don't have to fear. Uh, you don't have to be anxious uh, in, in any way. All right. Um, I, I, I had an interesting thing today. Uh, they were saying that most people uh, that has depression uh, think a lot about the path, uh, about the past, the past all right? okay. and that causes them because they feel they missed out or they didn't use the opportunities they have and things like that. But then when people feel anxious, they think a lot about the future, the future. And, and that causes them to be anxious. And I felt, Ingrid, that the Lord is saying to you that uh, you don't have to be anxious about your future. He has already a good plan mm. for your life. No, uh, definitely. Also, uh, God bless you, Ingrid. Okay, so Jesus, um, her tadu. Okay, uh, what the Lord was showing to me, and it was very similar to, to the word uh, that Iana gave to Ingrid, and I, I prayed uh, uh, about you earlier today already. Uh, and what the Lord showed me is how He wants you to slow down and trust, the, trust God. And I felt that the Lord says, now is not the time to work on a temporary solution. But now is the time to build the foundations for something big and tremendous that God is doing in your life. And so if you always think, but are we going to do it quick? We got to, it's just a temporary solution. We're going to quickly do this and do that. Then you never build that strong foundation for the 10-story the building of God's uh, call upon your life. 
And so I felt that the Lord says, obedience, trust, and slow down, pace yourself with Him. And you'll see, although it feels slower, what's going to be built is going to be stand, uh, it's going to stand long and it's going to be more impactful. All right, God bless you. Yeah, I think sometimes people think that to move faster is better, but I realized even in my own life that um, moving with diligence is better than speed. So mm -hmm. don't be focused on trying to read the Bible through in, in one month but you can't remember anything or do anything that it says. It's not a competition. Yeah. It is something that we need to change us and it's changing us while we are living it. Okay. okay, so the next word is for Tony. Tony, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you completing a marathon and you're like, yes, it is done. Yes, it is done, but next week you've got another marathon and another marathon and your mentality must be sustainability. It must not be giving everything you can, even though your body gets depleted, uh, just to get to the finish line. I just see how the Lord's going to give you tremendous wisdom, and you need to accept that wisdom. Sometimes it's going to frustrate you uh, to, because it's feeling like it's restricting you, but God is not in the business of quick and get it done and over with. God wants to bring restoration, not just into your life, but also the people you work in touch with. Like, it's, it's almost the same as with Jesus where it is just working at it, working at it and not allowing it to sink in. Soak in the presence of God. If you can do that for 10 minutes a day, meaning you just sit and you focus on the Lord. You do not ask anything. You just allow yourself to be in the presence of the Lord. And when you're done, take a pen and paper and write down what the Lord has said to you. And you're going to see that that small bit of information is going to have a tremendous big impact in your life. Be blessed. Hey, Tony, uh, God bless you. Uh, family, uh, um, thank you for watching. Um, uh, please uh, like and subscribe and write your name in the comments if you'd like to be put on the list to receive a word. Um, yeah, just tell me quickly, what is your channel and how can uh, I get to it? Heaven's Remnant. So if you on YouTube, if you Google Heaven's Remnant, uh, two words, then my channel is also on there. I love to share uh, daily whatever revelation the Lord has given to me. Um, most, of, Well, all of it is organic material. I don't sit and verify all of it, what the Lord is giving to me and get a script. I don't, in, I don't have a script. So I feel it's just revelation that the Lord gives us. Mm. And sometimes, well, most of the times for me, myself, it is very, very interesting and it has a function in my life where it just gives me more revelation and practical steps to work with yeah so Ian told me that he tries to in the morning he spend time with God and then he switch on the camera mm -hmm. and then and he just uh, allow the Holy Spirit to flow through him and he and he give uh, some wisdom or teaching or something whatever God placed on his heart so I want to encourage you go and check it out you can uh, subscribe also just write him a comment uh, in one of the videos that he does so he at least know you exist and you know uh you can make a connection with you okay awesome uh, we love and appreciate each one of you god bless you be blessed thank you for joining unity with heaven remember to subscribe like comment and join our newsletter if you want to support us please click on the paypal link may god bless you abundantly remember you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here. Yeah.